karibu kwenye channel ya Dr. Mero Lectures tunafundisha masomo ya science, physics, chemistry, mathematics pamoja na biology kwa syllabus ya Tanzania na kwa level pamoja na advanced level Dr. Mero Lectures for your better next exams performance subscribe share and like this video Welcome back friends this is coordination session 3 and we are continuing with neurons as we said earlier that, that the nervous system is made up of two types of cells which are neurons and neuroglia so we are starting discussing about neurons then later we shall be discussing about the neuro neuroglia so neurons are the basic structure and the function units of the nervous system neurons are highly specialized nerve cells that generate and conduct nerve impulses kwa hiyo hizi hapa ni ni structure and the function units of the nervous system kama mbona nasema kwamba a cell is the structure and the function unit of the living organism pia neurons is the nerve and the structure and the function ko nervous system is made up of neurons by means of structure and by means of function it function at the smallest basics of neurons so neurons in very specialized is an always to generate pamoja na conduct na normally hapo tunaenda kuona kwamba kwa zile ambazo huwa zinachukua stimulus mara nyingi huwa zinakuwa zina kwa connected na zile cells ambazo zina generate which are receptors so the the neurons the neuron the basic building block of the brain and the central nervous system pia ta peripheral nervous system tunaona nerves zote all of the nerves they are made up of the neurons neurons zikiungana zinatengeneza a uh, nerve fiber nerve fiber zikiungana zinatengeneza a nerve So neurons are specialized cells that transmit chemical and electrical signals. Chemical manake ni pale kwenye synapse. Tunaenda kuona kwa mbele kwamba kwenye synapse electrical impulse inapita kwenye neuron, kwenye axon, ikifika kwenye synapse inabadilika kwa chemical. Then tunaenda kuona jinsi gani inakuwa. Kwa hiyo the brain is made up of entirely of neurons and glial cells. So brain ni yote unavyosikia ubongo. Ubongo ni nini? Ubongo is neurons. So it's made of neurons and glial cells which are non neural cells that provide structure and support for the neurons. So glial cells is pia tunaenda kuziona ndio hizo ambazo tunasema neuroglia. Neuroglia sometimes they are called glial cells. So glial cells they are not neurons. It has a support. Zina support neurons. Kwa kwenye ubongo ubongo leo yenyewe ni neurons pamoja na glial cells only. Ni two types of cells only zinazotengeneza ubongo. So Nearly 76 billion neurons work together within the nervous system to communicate with the rest of the body. So you see the large number of neurons, 76 billion billions of neurons. They are responsible for everything from consciousness and thought to pain and hunger. Kwa hiyo kuanzia kujielewa au kujielewa tu hivyo kufikiria jambo fulani thought akuwa na maumivu fulani au kuwa na njaani everything in the body it is neurons it is neurons go thinking memory everything it is neurons so the primary component of the neuron are the soma yani cell body ko neuron na kwa cell body ambayo ni to soma na kwa axon axon is the long cylinder projection that conduct electrical impulse away from the cell body pia kuna dendrite dendrite ni tree like structure that receive message from other neurons and the synapse specialized junction between neurons kuna unaangalia kuna nini kuna cell body kuna axon kuna dendrite pamoja na synapse hizo ni ni uh, important part of the neuron so let's see about the structure of neuron structure of neuron in addition to having all the normal components of this of the cell yani nucleus organelle etc neurons also contain a unique structure for receiving and sending the electric signal that make neuron uh, neural communication possible a typical neuron consists of dendrite the cell body and the axon you know the generalized structure of the typical neuron kwa hiyo tuanze na dendrite dendrite ni dendrite ni branch like yenyewe ni kama matawi ya mti na kazi yake kubwa ni ku receive a uh, stimuli so dendrite a branch like structures extending away from the cell body and their job is to receive message from other neurons and allow those message to travel to the cell body 
ko nazeka ni receive message from other neurons au ni receive message from receptors then ni ipeleka kwa cell body kwa kifupi na tunataka kujua ni kwamba dendrite they receive impulse na zinaipeleka wapi kwenye cell body they transmit impulse towards the cell body so in other words dendrites are responsible for responding to stimuli they receive incoming signal towards the cell body towards the cell body this is a very important sentence towards the cell body although some neurons do not have any dendrite other type of neurons have multiple dendrites ko baadhi ya neuron hazina dendrite kabisa nyingine zina zina multiple dendrites uh, motor and associated neurons association neurons possess a profusion of high branch dendrite enabling those cells to receive information from many different sources simultaneously kwa hiyo motor neuron pamoja na association neuron association neuron maana yake ni zile rely neuron zizoko ndani ya central nervous system zenyewe zinakozi na dendrite nyingi kwa sababu gani motor neuron zina receive impulse toko neuron nyingine pamoja na hizo rely neuron pia zina receive neuron toko kwenye neuron nyingine sio sawa na tukilinganisha na sensory neuron Some neurons have extensions from the dendrites called dendritic spines which include the surface area available to receive stimuli. So dendritic spines manake kutoka kwenye dendrites pale dendrites ni kama branches. Branches zina cause na branches nyingine ambazo zinaitwa dendritic spines. Uh, from there we have cell body. Like other cells each neuron has a cell body or soma which is an, uh, which is enlarged region that contains the nucleus smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum golgi apparatus mitochondria and other cellular component kwa unaona any neuron lazima iwe na cell body ambayo ina component hizo hapo hizo tajwa hapo kuna smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum golgi apparatus kila mmoja hapo ana kazi yake golgi apparatus kila mmoja ana kazi yake so kwa mfano smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum lazima hapo za kozi na usika katika kutengeneza acetylcholine acetylcholine hiyo ni neurotransmitter na it is it is protein in nature pia kuna kuna neurotransmitter nyingine kama gaba gaba ni amino acid nayo ni ni, ni, ni amino acid ko za kuta hivyo vitu hivyo vina kuvina usikate kutengeneza nini kutengeneza neurotransmitter so the cell body is like a factory for the neuron ni kama kiwanda it produces all the proteins and it contains specialized organelles such as nucleus glandules and nucleus bodies kwa inatengeneza proteini zote proteini zote ambazo zinahitajika by a neuron pia na kwa contain nucleus granules pamoja na nucleus bodies extending from the cell body are one or more cytoplasmic extensions called dendrites this the surface of the cell body integrates the information arriving at its dendrite if there is the resulting membrane excitation is sufficient it trigger the conduction of the impulse away from the cell body along the axon so cell body in receive information through the dendrites then from the dendrites ina inaangalia kama impulse ni sufficient manake ina stimulation ya kutosha kutengeneza nerve impulse impulse ndio inaanzia hapo ina transfer through the axon now axon axon at its at its most basic is a tube like structure that carry an electrical impulse from the cell body or from another cell dendrite to the structure at opposite end of the neuron an axon terminal which can then pass to the impulse to the other another neuron ko axon inachukua impulse toka kwenye cell body from the cell body from the cell body kwenda kwenye next cell au kwenda kwenye other parts of the body au kwenda kwenye effect so the cell the cell body contains a specialized structure that is the axon hillock axon hillock ni kama pale mahali ambapo axon inaenda kujiunga kwenye cell body which serves as junction between the cell body and the axon axon pale ambapo kujiunga kwenye cell body panaitwa axon hillock ko axon yenyewe ni kama tube fulani ile tube inaenda kujiunga kwenye cell body so each neuron has a single axon leaving its cell body Although an axon may also branch uh, to stimulate a number of cells. Kwa hiyo kila neuron inakuwa na cell body ina 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 in, I mean kila neuron inakuwa na axon moja inayotoka. Lakini kule mwisho ni axon inaweza ka branch. Saka branch na tunaenda kuona uko mbele kwenye mambo ya summation. Mbele kabisa kwa mambo ya summation tunaenda kuona jinsi gani ambavyo 
hiyo inavyo branch na side ni so the axon controlling the muscle in the person's feet can be uh, an axon can be quite long the axon controlling the muscle on the person's feet can be more than a meter long and the axon that extends from the scar to the pelvis in a gilaf in a gilaf is about 3 meter long kuna kundu kwamba uh, axon is inaweza kuwa ni ndefu sana ndefu sana kwa ndefu sana ndefu sana mda wengine axon ile kwa ndefu au inaweza kuwa fupi kama unavyoona hapo ni meter 3 meter the axon are responsible for transmitting impulse over long distance long distance from cell body some axons are covered with myelin na zinaitwaje hii myelin ni fat material that act as an insulator and the conductor to speed up the process of, of communication while other they they do not have kwa tena kuona hapo kidogo kuhusu myelin sheath lakini hapo ni unatakiwa kuomba baadhi ya axon zinazokuwa kwa covered by, by myelin myelin ina, inasaidia kuweza kuongeza speed ya conduction and every impulse lakini from there tuangalie synapse synapse are the chemical junction between the axon terminal of one neuron and the dendrite of the next it is the gap where specialized chemical interaction can occur rather than an actual structure kwa hiyo synapse tunasema ni kama ni junction junction between two neuron lakini ni junction ambayo ni haziungani so ni junction lakini ni junction ambayo neuron haziungani haziungani so tunaenda kuisoma zaidi kwa mbele synapse structure yake how inafanya kazi kidogo tuangalie kuhusu myelin sheath myelin sheath uh, the axon is surrounded by uh, whitish fatty layer called the myelin sheath outside the myelin sheath there is a cell layer called uh, neurilema au inaitwa g1 cell hii g1 cell hizi ni, ni moja kati ya cell ambazo ni nyungu ni, ni, ni neuroglia neuroglia tulizosoma kule mwanzo ni glial cells one among the types of glial cell ni g1 cell ambayo iko kwenye peripheral nervous system so g1 cell produce myelin in the peripheral nervous system tunaenda kuona kwa mbele kidogo peripheral nervous system ni nini uh, while oligodendros oligodendrocytes produce myelin in the central nervous system so you see g1 cell in the peripheral then oligodendrocytes in the central nervous system during development these cells wrap themselves around each axon several times to form the myelin sheath an insulating covering consists of multiple layer of membrane kwa hiyo cell zinakuwa zinazunguka zinazunguka kama hapa ndo pana axon katikati zile cell zinakuwa zina wrap zinazunguka ile axon zinatengeneza ni myelin sheath so axon that of the myelin sheath are said to be myelinated and those that that don't are unmyelinated in the central nervous system myelinated axon form the white matter white matter utaangalia kwenye spinal cord kwenye brain utakuta wanakuambia kuna white matter na gray matter kwa hiyo white matter huwa inakuwa ni myelinated axons alafu gray matter huwa inakuwa ni cell body i unmyelinated dendrites and cell body they form the gray matter so hii na pia white kwa sababu gani kwa sababu ya myelin sheath yenyewe white fat vitengenezwa na fat ambayo ni nyeupe in the peripheral nervous system are uh, both myelinated and unmyelinated axon are bundled together much like wires in a cable to form nerves ko axons zote zina ukozi unganisho zinatengeneza nerves so the myelin sheath is interrupted at interval of 1 to 2 mm by small gaps known as nodes of lanvil tunaenda kusoma pia uko mbele ni gani ambapo myelin sheath inasaidia katika ku increase the speed of conduction of nerve impulse so in the peripheral nervous system g1 cell and neuroglia cell that support neural function by increasing the speed of impulse propagation the g1 cell are underlain by the medullary sheath medullary sheath is interrupted at interval by nodes of lanvil kwa tunaenda kuona kwa mbele jinsi gani ambavyo jinsi gani ambavyo hizo cells zinakuwa zina zina zinafanya kazi hapo. Kwa unaweza kuona this is the structure of the axon. This is the cell body with the nucleus. 
our cell body is nucleus. Then from the cell body to now, to now, extension of cytoplasm of uh, is it doesn't need dendrites. Is it doesn't need dendrites. Dendrites. Ko aka can it dendron. Dendron ni kama kanani flani. Ira dendrites ni ya matawis. Ko dendritic spines ni na kwa kumishon dendritic spines. From there, ko awa wana kwa na collect information ni kuja kwa nani? Kwa cell body. From the cell body information is carried by the axion. Axion. Ko axion hii ndo mayin sheath. Kuna magepu kwa mayin sheath inaitua nose to friend villa. Then cell mbozi in na secreti yapo mayin sheath inaitua G1 cell. Kwa nozo kwa wana hapo. Axion ukifanya cross section cutting na weshal. Hii ni axion hiyo nye usi ni mayin sheath. Kwa mayin sheath wapo ndo fatty, fatty layer. So that the, the typical structure of a neuron. Typical structure of the neuron. So the structure of, of, of a vertebrate neuron extending from the cell body are main dendrites which, uh, dendrites which receive information and carry it to the cell body. As single axon transmits the impulse away from the cell body, many axons are encased by a main sheath that ensures the axon. Small gaps called nodes of line will interrupt the sheath of pleasure interval. So in the next video, we'll be discussing about the, about the function of a neuron and we'll go to look about the classification of neurons. Classification of neurons. Thank you everybody. Uh, like this video, subscribe and share the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to click the link below for uh, joining my telegram group. Thank you. HJ wish you nice studies. Asante kwa kumele channel Dr. Melo. Nina mini umele wa kipindi. Na kama ugele wa chuchote. Oweza kukoment hapo chini. Click link ya kwa description. Kujoi ni telegram group kwa jie discussion. Usisao kusubscribe, kushare video kwa mafiki, pamoja na kulike.